hi everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a new in beauty for april 2016 this is my second attempt of filming this just because first time there was just sun coming in and out all the time and it just made my lighting terrible um so yes i thought this is quite a popular video i love doing these kind of videos i love watching these kind of videos as well and um there have been a lot of products that have actually come out in april i will show you the box it's heavy this is all filled with makeup products and i will go through it now for you the first two things i'm going to start off with are the mac skin finishes i've got one in warm rose and one in other earthly these are part of the future i can't remember what the, what the collection was called but i think it was future something and you can still get them on the website and on debenhams and house fraser so i'm going to show you warm rose um, I like how they've changed the packaging. I don't know how long they've been in this packaging, but I do quite like it because you can actually see the product itself. And um, once I open it up, there is the product. It looks very plain and boring and simple, but I promise you it's a very, it's a very subtle highlight. It's not one of these bam in your face high highlighters it's very natural kind of like the hourglass um hourglass ones but very natural it's a white with pink shimmer in there um when i swatch it it looks like a bog standard face powder but um there is definitely some sparkle there i don't know if you'll be able to see it or not there but um so th there is definitely some sparkle but it's definitely not in your face so if you want a highlighter that's like not in your face try this one which is really good and the second highlighter or skin finish is either earthly this is more um more with it i suppose more pow kind of highlighter um it looks like this it's a very very pretty you have a silver sparkle here and then you have a peachy shimmer here and a bronze sh um here so obviously when you swatch it that is the um i don't want to see it silver shimmer there the bronze is quite bronzy colour, the peach is quite a nice colour actually, the peach is this one here, I don't know if I'm showing you right, but yeah they are very 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 pretty colours, um, this is, this, these, these two are limited edition so get them while you can and if you like your highlighters just collect them anyway like I do. So they are available on the MAC website from Debenhams, from House Fraser, wherever they sell MAC basically. So that's those two. So two from the drugstore. Um, I've got the Max Factor Face Affinity All Day Primer. This I think run alongside the Face Affinity 3-in-1 foundation, which I absolutely love. This is the primer for it. It said it extends to wear a foundation, which any other primer does basically has SPF 20 in it and it's got limited edition packaging because of Rochelle Humes or Hums um, is like an ambassador or their face is the name at the moment and they've decided to do a limited edition packaging so that's what that looks like and get that from Super Dragon Boots and then I've got a Rimmel Insta Flawless Perfecting Radiant Skin Tint um, basically this is like a moisturizer and a foundation all mixed up to a makeup skin tint it's got spf 15 it's natural looking glow 24 hour moisturization primes and perfects it's 30 mils and i've got it in a six light medium i don't know if they do any other colors but i know when i looked in the shop they only had two so um hopefully this will be okay once i start tanning as you can see i'm still pretty pale um, so hopefully this will work when I tan, hopefully. I know I am rushing through this because I've got a lot of stuff and I'm trying to get this 
video under 20 minutes if possible um so next up i've got the bare minerals uh what they call this the stolen heart this is part of their um back collection which is so nice i struggle to get into this packaging but i like how pretty that packaging is you sort of lift up and it has ready and this is the palette itself if i can get it out there we go it's nice shiny gold packaging you see the camera you see the plant behind me um yeah it's very nice and this is like a blush kind of thing a blush um highlighter kind of thing so you've got blush here and you've got two highlighters so you've got a blush there and a highlighter there which they look quite nice actually um that's not showing up the blush is not showing up so much but the highlighter is so that would be nice to swirl around if you want to or you can um separate them so use one as a blush and one as a highlight but to be honest they're very hard to get into since they're very small triangles but yes that's really nice i think it's about 30 or 40 pounds um but you know me i'm a sucker for blushes and highlighters and it's limited edition and especially for the summer so get it while you can makeup revolution came out with three blush palettes not one but three blush palettes and i've got all three i'm starting with off with a cream since that's my least favorite kind of product um this is called the blush melts and as you can see there are a variety of colors and um, there are quite baby you know, there's quite um natural pinks baby pinks you've got some corals got some a red cranberry sort of colors so they're very nice i'm not going to swatch it because i still need to take a photograph and if you're a blogger or a youtuber youtuber then you know what i mean by not touching a product before you take a photograph so um yes yeah, so that's that which is really nice can't wait to try that and then the second one is blush goddess this is a um it's got matte blushes and highlighters so it starts with a quite a i'm gonna put my finger in it i don't know if you able to see it or not but if they are very 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 soft but um all different kinds of pink it's got a quite a neutral pink light pink neutral kind of color then a coral color the coral colors at the end and then you've got the highlight here so you've got um one which is like the hourglass <coughs> so like the hourglass um lighting powders which is not much shimmer in it and you've got a quite a um lemon highlighter which i call it a lemon highlighter because it's got quite a lot of um yellow in in it you've got a pinky one and then you've got a neutral one so you've got a lot of so this is all matte blushes and then highlighters which is good and then the last my favorite which is the blush queen this is lovely as you can see they are all merged baked blushes they're all very shimmery and um obviously if you don't like your shimmer then do not get this palette because it's got blushes and you've got highlighting shades um you've got a pink with white going through it you've got um a light pink highlighter which is so so pretty it's so pretty um you've to be honest, they're all pinks and it's just a beautiful palette just look at it oh my throat it's so so pretty i cannot wait to try that and obviously i will do reviews on these hopefully as soon as i can elizabeth arden came out with the sunset bronze collection which is their summer collection for them i've got quite a few items as you can see because i do love summer products and it's definitely the favorite time of year for me so i'm going to start off with the eyeshadow palette this is a number one summer production love the packaging as you can see absolutely beautiful it's got a pink shim not a pink color on one side you open it up this is so beautiful as you can see they are all purples which are lovely i love purple eyeshadow 
um, it is just perfect for this time of year and it has purple a light pink a yellow a bronze and a dark brown so you've got so you so you've got all different kinds of colors um, there was actually meant to be a brush in here but I think I've lost already um, um, but I can't wait can't wait to try it it's so pretty and so light and then we've got the sunset bronze prismatic bronzing powder this is absolutely gorgeous people if you like your bronzes then this is especially for you same packaging as the eyeshadows but just in a bronze packaging this is absolutely gorgeous look at it it's so pretty it looks quite plain and boring actually on the camera but it's got so much shimmer in it i don't know if this will be able to see it or not but it's so pretty like there are um, definitely a lot of shimmer so it's definitely a bronzer rather than the contour but i don't want to put my finger in it but it's so pretty as you can see absolutely love it perfect for this time of year and i think they do have another shade which is darker this is number warm bronze there is a darker one i think it's deep bronze but because i'm pale this is perfect for me and then i've got to do prismatic highlighter everyone knows like my highlighters bronzes everything i'm more of a face girl this is what it looks like nice packaging and then you've got the highlighter which i'll try and do a swatch for you which is very nice actually perfect for the summer time i don't know if that is picking up for you but yeah i like that one which is all brand new and then we've got and the last one in the collection is three lip products they're all prismatic gloss these are all very very pretty um all very shimmery i'll just try and get them out for you there we go these what they look like they've got gold lids and they are absolutely beautiful I'm going to zoom you in a bit or me go closer a bit so can you see it's so difficult duochrome to it there's a lot of shimmer very pretty they're very 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 pretty absolutely gorgeous cannot wait to try it um i will leave all the prices in the down bar um and the links to it for the website so that's the Elizabeth Arden Prismatic Collection. Next up is the Urban Decay stuff. So they launched a couple of products for summer 2016. And I've got the new Naked One and Done. This is a hybrid complexion perfector. It's SPF 20, is optical blurring, luminous finish and paraben free. This is um, 40 mil and I'm in light. I absolutely love the packaging it's so pretty it goes from like a neutral color to a gun metal very metallic I absolutely love the packaging and when you take this off it has a pump at the bottom which i prefer a pump to a squeezy tube which is nice haven't tried it yet but it's like it's meant to improve the skin tone and last up to eight hours significant improvement in radiance after 12 weeks of use significantly firmer feeling skin after 12 weeks of use visibly smaller looking pores after eight weeks of use so there's quite a lot of benefits to this product um and obviously i need to try it out before i do anything but this is in light and i believe they have about six or eight shades for you to try so that's that one and then they came out with two new eyeliners i've got one of them and this is it this is heartless which is absolutely gorgeous this, this is my first 24 7 eyeliner uh mine's a little bit messed up but it's like a pink baby pink color which if i swatch it for you this will be great if i try and move in a bit closer for you do 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 there we go 
that will be perfect for highlighting in the inner corners um, just making your eyes look bigger and just really nice to have so I really like that one and then every year all these companies release um, bronzes for the summer and they've released this one for this year lovely palm tree packaging absolutely lovely and when you open it up it has a palm tree on the front and mine is sun kissed there are two shades there is sun kissed and another one um, because i'm pale as always i went for the paler one um, this is just a standard bronzer with a mirror um, nothing really to say about it apart from it's a bronzer and um, yes I absolutely like it and then the two beauties of this collection are the highlighters they've got the afterglow eight hour powder highlighter this is in Aurora um, which it looks like the blushes that come like this when you open it up it's a iridescent pink colour hopefully you'll be able to see this okay do, do, do. which is absolutely lovely I'll swatch this for you because I've actually taken a picture of it so I'm okay to use it so that is that one there which is very pretty and then the next one is Sin they've actually got three colours but um, there's Fireball as well which is like a peachy colour which I didn't get really because it wasn't going to be suited for me this is Sin very similar to the eyeshadow Sin um, which I absolutely love this is like a champagne colour which I'll swatch for you as well it's definitely more pigmented compared to the Aura one there, there you go so you've got Sin there and you've got Aura there which is absolutely pretty, I love it very soft feeling, can't wait to try them I am now on to the last brand which is Kiko um, if you don't know what Kiko is, basically it's a makeup company which I believe came from Spain or something like that and um, there are shops in the UK but mostly in the shopping centres like Westfield and stuff and um, they do brilliant collections, limited to, limited edition collections and the products are really good so um, they come out with the Molde Wave no the artistic collection even I've got two products from that collection so I've got a blending wave multicolored blush um, I do love the do love the packaging it's like an artist watercolor or paint um, it's very 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 pretty it's the number four um, and it's like one of those kind of blushes like a what, what, what do you call it I don't know it's not emerged um, I can't remember what it was called but um, this is a pink one they do have different colours but I chose the pinky one more natural one so I, I like that I do like the packaging that's really sweet and then I've got a, a lipstick in number 3 which doesn't tell you what the name is oh it's no it doesn't tell you what name it is but this is a click lipstick so it looks like a bog standard lipstick you click it and you pull it out which I absolutely love um, that's the colour you don't get a lot of product in here but I do like how you just put it in like that and then you just click it I love that concept I love it um, so that's that one moving on to their summer collection which which called Desert Dunes I believe I've got a few products from them so I'm going to start off with the baked blushes I've got two baked blushes they've got quite a few different blushes to be honest um, I can open it it's very gold I love the packaging and it's very luxurious absolutely lovely I love it and then when you open it up it has those merged blushes again got three different colors in them all this is in number gypsy pink number two which is a pinky pinky kind of one which is absolutely lovely <clears throat> and then I've got the same one in number three impulsive mauve 
which is a mauve colour. I do like it. They've got two other different ones, I believe. But I wanted to get two. And, <coughs> and they are a lot more expensive than the normal ones because they've got luxurious packaging and they just look so much nicer. So that's the blushes. And then <coughs> two more products. I've got a highlighter called Desert Moon. Even the packaging has that kind of effect to it this is absolutely lovely as well this is quite heavy and it's quite a bulky product as you can see it's got the same gold packaging you open it, it has a little puff to it when you open it up it has like little shimmer balls whatever you call them so yeah they're very shimmery you've got like pink it's got yellows very nice very old-fashioned way of doing it but I do quite like that I do quite like it but it's just such a bulky product as you can see which I don't know where I'm gonna fit in my collection because it's so big but yes and then moving on to the last product of this video and it's the bronzer look how big the packaging it is already this is in number 200 warm melange I believe I don't know how you say that but this is a huge bronzer look at it palm test by palm that's how big it is it's seriously crazy big it smells nice as well um it's like a merged bronzer again um it got a bit of highlighter going on in there as well a little bit of shimmer not not too much in there as you can see it's a nice color um yeah can't wait to try that that's a really huge bronzer um so yeah that is all the products for um april 2016 if you want any reviews on the products mentioned then please leave a comment below i will do a couple of reviews anyway that i've got lined up and i would like to show you the kiko stuff off a little bit more um but yes i hope you like this video please come right subscribe and i'll see you guys soon